All right, Lauren, in this episode, we're going to talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly. The good sex we had, even though we both came out physically and emotionally injured. The bad way we went into a playroom to check things out and mistakenly did aura with everyone while a unicorn rubbed magic potion on clits. And the ugly experience I had on a certain party drug, but I am not going to tell you which party drug it was. Okay. You don't give a fuck. All right, Lauren, we have started back again. We shouldn't be here in this house. Oh my God, it didn't even register. It is so true. But we'll be out of here soon in our new studio, mm-hmm. studio number seven. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get to studio 77 soon uh, if we keep moving like this. <laughs> Uh, today or this time, we're going to go back to flirt the event because we had so much to talk about. We didn't, we weren't able to get it in. No. Which was a little like our DVP session that we just had, <laughs> which we'll talk about in another episode. We were able to get it in. We had seven seconds of success. It's 11 actually. Did you count? I, well, I have the clip on my phone and I cut it down to like the actual part because maybe I've been watching it a little bit. It's, it's 11 seconds long. 11 seconds of DVP. <laughs> DVP success. But this one, this one is called The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. There are no stories of redemption in this one. Not in this one. This one you have to look at, our listener has to look at as like a really twisted Lifetime movie of the week. I don't even know if the kids know what a Lifetime movie of the week is. (laughs) No. But we're going to go over the good, the bad, and the ugly. Okay. And I think it might actually be in that order. I don't know. We'll see how things go. But <laughs> basically, our, our sexual escapades that we had at the flirtation. I Good for event. us. But before we go on, we should mention that sin... About 15 rooms left for October. Go to room77life.com and it's right there on the homepage. Click for more information. And if you have any questions, just always email us or reach out on any social media. It's really easy to get a hold of us. So those rooms are still available in the main hotel until we open up the secondary hotel. If you want to be in the main hotel, make sure to go sign up now. Sin. October something to October something else. <laughs> uh, all right, moving on. So in this particular event, yes. we we hooked up with a couple that we had hooked up with before at the last event, and we graded them, and they got an A minus. Mm, yes, because of some some certain aspects. I, of course, got an A plus plus. <laughs> you got a C minus because you smoked too much pot, and you were a high sex fairy. I was a sex fairy. Yes. Right now. Here's what always seems to happen to us, okay? We do this every time where we, we go in and people are like, hey, we want our first time to be with you, right? Yeah. Very confident we are. <laughs> <laughs> well, what else are you going to say? Like, I always feel like it's a it like, more like skydiving. Like, you've jumped out of a plane a lot of times. I feel, I feel like if something goes wrong, you're going to know what to do. There's, I guess there's a lot of nerves attached to yeah. it or whatever. And then we taught them. We learned them. We schooled them. We raised them. Right. We gave them an A minus, which is certified by ASA, ASA. Then what happens? You go back and hook up with them again, and they turn into absolute porn stars. (laughs) (laughs) We were out sex, Richard. And I don't know if this is just us, because I'm starting to have the feeling that I peak at a certain level, or we peak at a certain level because there are certain people that just out sex me. They just out sex me. I wish I had a, a yellow card or a red card or a flag or something I could just throw up in the air and say, I've reached my limit. I can no longer keep up with you. I just stop and throw my hands up. No, I totally feel you. And that's actually an interesting concept. I do feel like there's people who are just better at it. And yeah. I, I, I don't know if it's like they practice more, but even like the well, they definitely practice MMF more. that we were in that's on only fans. No, we were good at that one. I know, but I felt like he was out. Oh, he, of course he outsexed us. So yeah, what am I doing wrong? You know what I mean? What am maybe, I doing wrong? Maybe I need to uh, like read train, more, read more books, train. Yes. This it's, is what I always said. You should be doing all of the things. You should be putting things inside of you. You should be researching. I actually was going to do this entire episode with a butt plug in. Okay. And I couldn't find it. Oh, well, failure. Ah! Look, this is what I think, because I have a feeling that this is not going to be the last time a first timer has been like, hey, uh, I would like for you to be our first. Right. So I think we have to change it up a little bit and find a way to make excuses. We have to get ahead of it so that if there is a second time, we have to find a way to 
either make excuses Mm -hmm. as to why it's going to be bad the second time. We have to fake an illness, a disease. (laughs) We have to play it down. Crutches. Yeah. We have to be like something. Look, this second time, the first time we went really easy. Mm -hmm. Okay. The second time we're going to go really, really easy on you. But we want you guys to let loose. (laughs) But we are going to hang back because usually the second time we really scare people. So if you feel a (laughs) little reverse psychology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you feel a little bit let down, that's normal. It's really normal. What we're doing. <laughs> is we're preparing you. We want to get that confidence up high. Mm-hmm. You know, we want you to feel good. Make make, yes. yeah, make us feel like losers. <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't need to describe this couple again. They're both absolutely beautiful, right? But they are beginners. Yes. I mean, they've literally been with no one else. Mm-mm. And then they come back <laughs> and they fuck like they're in the running for an AVN award. <laughs> I, I don't I don't even understand it. As far as fucking you, I think almost killed you. Okay. <laughs> it's like watching a small horse fuck. It's oh like a, a small in shape horse fuck. Her and her spirit animal, which I just found out, is a rabbit. And this <laughs> one starts fucking like an actual rabbit. Now- What adds insult to injury to this is she was coming off being sick. So she almost died the night before Uh she had to take medicine and she still fucked the crap out of us. (laughs) Right. (laughs) So I'm like, I I can't even deal with this anymore. So at one point he's fucking, fucking, fucking. And then we're in the middle of it. I think we're like an hour in and he's fucking you. I'm in, I mean, I'm having a lot of fun. Don't get me wrong. Yes. A lot of fun, but I'm having a hard time. Like, Hey, uh, turn down the confidence a little bit. I liked it better when I was in the driver's seat. And (laughs) He comes. And I'm like, oh, oh okay. maybe, maybe this is going to be an early night. Right. So I look him dead in the eye, man, the man, because, you know, I know how it goes. I'm a man, right? I yeah. look at him like, are you good? Or is that, right? is that the end? And he looks at me with all the confidence of the world and says, yeah, yeah, I just need a minute. Like five yeah, yeah. minutes. As soon as he said it, it reminded me of a movie. You're not going to remember this. Okay. But there's a part in the movie Boogie Nights. Dirk Diggler mm-hmm. comes inside of, oh, I forget her name. The blonde. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not the blonde on the roller skates, the no, older no, no. blonde. Yeah, the yeah. Burt Reynolds' yeah, yeah, wife yeah. or girlfriend or whatever. Burt Reynolds is directing. He's Meryl re- Streep. I don't know what it is. It's not Meryl Streep. For the love of God, <laughs> don't put that in everyone's mind. So what's his face comes over? Uh, shameless guy. He comes over. This is what it reminds me of. He came inside of it. Maybe we could like go to stock footage or- uh, Are you crazy? It won't match. Well, Jack- I could do it again if you need a close up. Yeah, I can do it again if you need a close up. Yeah, I can just uh, I can do it again, chicken. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> He's, yeah, I'll just be fine in a minute. And he does. He just starts fucking again. Like a madman. Uh, they well, they kind of reminded me of bunnies because she just kind of crawled up on him and you know, she obviously can read his body language mm-hmm. and then boom and they're going at it again. Yeah, and they're fucking again. Right. <laughs> now <laughs> I'm like, water break. I don't know. Like, what are you doing? At this point, I'm literally having gender identity issues. <laughs> like, it's the first time in all of this madness I'm thinking, was I supposed to be a woman? <laughs> that feels more right. Maybe, maybe, maybe a transition is right for me. So... <laughs> at one, I start fucking her after this happens, right? He comes again, right? Uh-huh. And surely I think, well, this is, this is it. This is the end. This is it, right? Yeah. So I think, well, I'm going to try to come, right? Now she bends over like the little rabbit she is, all fours, <laughs> bends over, points that perfect little ass in my direction. Lauren, we'll be right back. I Lauren, I want to talk about the weirdos out there who are looking for other weirdos. You know what I mean? Because the toxicity out there is absolutely overbearing. It's so negative and it's so toxic. The negativity weighs you down. We have this place on Telegram, a group of people that is filled with positivity with weirdos like you, a place for you, weirdo, where there are no weirdos for you to deal with. If that sentence made sense to you, you are our people. You're our people. (laughs) Come over. We want you to come over and join our weirdo group 
our fam. We call it our Room 77 fam over at patreon.com forward slash Room 77. And come and join our Telegram group and get in with the fam. I mean, it's blowing up right now. I had to put it on mute. It's just a good vibe. And that is a prerequisite to be in there. Just yesterday, by one of the members who found a blanket that his parents had in their house, it had an upside down pineapple and said, plays well with others. And he wrote, do you think my parents are swingers? And everybody was like, absolutely. (laughs) So then it was up to the entire group to have him confront his parents. Like, where did you get this blanket? (laughs) And they had said it was their neighbors or their friends gave it to them, which made me spin out of control. That made me want to dive down an even deeper rabbit hole. (laughs) Did you fuck your neighbors? If that sounds like something that you want to do and that you would be willing up to give one Starbucks coffee a month, come join our group. It only costs five dollars a month. Yeah, it's five bucks for complete happiness in life. Yeah, and you get the podcast early. You get like OnlyFans. There's all kinds of stuff that you get with it too. But most importantly, you support this podcast which you're listening to right now. We do appreciate you listening. Help us out. Go over to Patreon. Become a member. Maybe see my member. <laughs> <laughs> so let's say thanks to the people who did sign up. Thank you to Mr. Klein, Piccolo Doc, Scott and Hannah, Us and Oz, Moad, Lori, T and Z, Dialed In, CDA, Jeremy, Dazzle, and CNM. You guys are really awesome. Thank you guys for all the support. We appreciate it. And we hope to see you in 20 years at my funeral. <laughs> too dark so dark we hope to see you in 21 years at my funeral (laughs) what i gave myself another year it's true she's a spinner this one and she starts going to town on me and she's a power bottom oh god on this this cop yeah 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 yeah. scary scary for me right you gotta control those hips now i know it i know a power bottom when i see one the hips don't lie (laughs) shakira taught me this very early in life right so she's going, 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 going. And I hear crack, like my dick snapped and I'm panicking, panic, oh, panic, panic, panic. My. Now I look down, everything's straight. There's no blood. So I think just keep going because the least you can do is finish the night and then we'll just go to the hospital later. <laughs> right? Don't fail. No. And don't, don't faint. That's <laughs> because I felt a little like I was going to faint. Now, oh no one God. knew this. No one knew this. No, I didn't know until I got right. back to the room. Our room happened to be right next door to theirs. Now he's, he's done. So I figure uh, this night's coming to an end, right? Right. He had come again. Jack, I could do it again if you need a close up. I need some gum and I need some water. <laughs> And I didn't bring any with me. Okay. <laughs> they didn't have any water. Well, why wouldn't they? They're fucking so hard. They're dehydrated. <laughs> and by the way, I can't imagine this is the first time he came all day. Oh, right. Yeah, absolutely. You know I, what I mean? Well, that was always our joke with them is like they go. They're and they, always fucking. They're always fucking. They just go around the resort and just fuck at random This spots. is how we met them. Yeah. We met them originally at Desire at the workshop and they got a big F, yes. which is a long way to go from an F all the way to an A minus. Right. Right. Because they were fucking within five minutes of the start of the art of touch. Yes. And that's how we met them. Yes. Because we we're like, these are our people. They can't keep their hands up to each other. We're out of water. Everyone is dehydrated. So I say, I'm going to go next door and I'm going to get some supplies <laughs> because we need them. Yeah. Right. Otherwise yeah. we're going to die here. Right. We're all going to die here <laughs> naked <laughs> and hard. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe with a broken penis. We don't know it's yet. Possible. We don't know yet. It's possible. Yeah. How do we go on? I- <laughs> How would we even survive? So I bravely put yes. a towel around my waist yes. and I bravely go from one room to the next because <laughs> we in fact do not have connecting doors. <laughs> I go from one room I grab a piece of gum. I maybe take a little drink of water before I bring some more water over. Mm -hmm. Right. I walk back in the door and what is happening? What? We missed that gum shot. Yeah. He came inside of her. He came inside of her again. It's like go to stock footage. Yeah. What happens? Crazy. It won't match. Uh -uh. (laughs) Uh-uh. Jack, I could do it again if you need a You can do it again. (laughs) That's what he says. Third time. Third time. He came three times in that session. At this point, I quit. (laughs) <laughs> he just had to give him the heavyweight belt just take it off and give it to him and be like you know what i i'm done quit i am out of my league you two need to fly like two sex birds and find other people i have references <laughs> i have people that i can tell you about that can surely keep up with you 
I have a lot of people in my Rolodex <laughs> that I can I can tell you are going to be they're going to be great. You guys are going to have a, a lot of fun for them, right? right. But I <laughs> am leaving here, giving you two an A plus <laughs> plus. I still get an A plus plus just because I give even out. Even though the, you quit, even though I quit. Well, I get an A plus plus because I quit. Well, because, because you fi- actually you finished with maybe a broken penis. I injured we myself. Still don't know. Yeah. So to end this this story, um, you were sore from his gigantic horse penis. Uh, <laughs> she broke my penis. I think I immediately go back to the room, and the first thing I say to you is, "Isn't what a great time? Uh, wow, that was hot." It's check my penis and see if it's broken. <laughs> What does that even mean? I don't know. I'm like, I think I broke my penis. And I'm like, feel right here, here and here and here and here. <laughs> Maybe stick a finger in here. I don't know. It's what the time. Everything always requires one, one finger in my buttocks. Now, here's the weird thing. Ever think that I have not seen a doctor yet, right? No, I just do, the Lauren doctor, my wife doctor. I do still feel a little bit of soreness in there. Today? Every day. Every time I'm hard. In that one spot? Mm-hmm. You and didn't tell me that. It's pains. not a dark secret. That's just denial. So, huh. but here's the other thing. And I'm hoping our listener out there can help me. Okay. Here's the weird thing about it. I feel like after the snap, that's what I'm calling the incident now. <laughs> feeling like after the snap, the base bottom part of my penis got thicker. <laughs> oh my God. I don't know how, but maybe I've been underdeveloped my entire life and you needed to snap me like a glow stick. <laughs> <laughs> Right. So now I, there's a part of me that can't stop thinking, do I need to snap the top half? Not that I want to. Oh my God. But I'm, I am almost completely sure that the bottom part is a little bit thicker now after she, she hurt me. I'm, I'm a little sure. I would tell our listener doctor that you are going to be absolutely sure because you are obsessed with the I, size of your penis. Yeah, I'm always you, measuring it. Not with a measuring been, tape. No, but you... But with objects around the house. <laughs> and your f- fingers. And my fingers, yeah. And you would notice if it's like, oh, it's a little bit big here. That maybe like, you know, sometimes when like you snap something in your ankle and it's like a little swollen, maybe that's what you did. I can't, I'm literally telling the story and holding my penis at the same time. I know you are. You're and it's shriveled up because I, I can't quite... You're uh, almost in a fetal position. Yeah, I I can't quite deal with it. But uh, is it possible that she, like a penis chiropractor? (laughs) Maybe that's why his is so big. That's what I was going to (laughs) say. Oh, my God. She just broke that shit. She's been breaking that shit for 20 20 years. years. Yeah. She's over and over and over again. That is one broke ass penis. That's why it's the size of a horse. I bet you're right. I think I think this is right. And you know what? My little rabbit friend is completely in the conspiracy, so she will appreciate this. <laughs> but anyway, I want to let the two of them know that we did have a really great time. And uh, I will do it again, but they're going to have to have lower expectations <laughs> of us. And now they're going to have to teach us things. With a lot of couples, I-, I think that some couples have a peak of sexuality. Yeah. Right. Some just don't make it to the pros. Some are Brady. Right. You know what I mean? And then in any, any sort of game, they can just throw a great game. Right. And then some are just Brian, who was my quarterback in high school. Yeah. Who's an accountant. No, to be honest, (laughs) I don't want to let them down. I just, I just, I just feel sucky sometimes. Yeah. I, especially with those two who fuck like rabbits all the day. They're always practicing. Always. <laughs> are always right. They're always practicing with, with one another. That is, that is really important. I would like to, to get to that level with you. I agree. If you. Just, let's just start having quickies. Yeah. More. I just need more time in my day. This is uh He's, they're also a very, very successful couple, which I think helps with time. <laughs> <laughs> because I, I, I never have time. I'm always like, ah, 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 good night. <laughs> All right, that's that. And then we have the, that was the good. That was good. Even though it was, it sounds like a bad story. It's, it was, right. it was one, of the, one of the best. That and the, the OnlyFans thing that we did. <laughs> it, even though he outfucked us as well. <laughs> Threesome. We yeah, got to the, play with it while uh, we were there. That was fun. Now we get to the bad. Uh-oh. Yeah, the bad, which is where you were extra bad. Oh, no, I'm extra bad. And not in a sexy way, Lauren. Oh, shit. That's next. Let's have a good time night of the century. Our best days can't be done. 
All right, Byron, we have started. Welcome back to Room 77, the podcast that talks about sexual health and makes you less sexually healthy as you listen. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, and. <laughs> <laughs> Your sexual health will diminish as you listen. Just within the minutes. By the end of this, man, you may wind up <laughs> impotent. Needing a cream. Yes. <laughs> Antibiotic. <laughs> You'll need Viagra and a testosterone shot. <laughs> Ladies, <laughs> your breasts will deflate. <laughs> All right. So this part that we're getting to next is the bad, the bad part. Lauren did a no, no. Well, I mean, it's no-no. bad. It's sexually bad, but it's also bad. It's a double entendre. Oh, God. Aren't you excited? Yeah. All right. So this night, we one night, we went over to the playroom at Flirtation. Yeah. And I swear, I mean, I love our playroom, but we, we rarely get to go there because we're usually on the other end of the hotel hosting as much as we can. And going into the playroom sometimes can be a bit much for us. It's hard hosting a party. <laughs> hosting a playroom it's 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 more awkward if i think if you actually think about it you'd be like oh yeah that would be kind of it would be kind of tough being the host of all of those people and then allowing everyone to be in their own personal yeah and then just walking in and, and being like hey everybody how's the fucking <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Keep it up right yeah. there. Keep it Could, going. Did you guys need, need anything to drink? or Coming in with Gatorade. Bombs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> High fives. We were, I don't want to say incredibly sober. I was on a substance at that point where I could not actually see straight, but cock was really hard. <laughs> so I said, let's not walk. Let's stumble to the playroom uh-huh. and walk in and see what's going on there. Uh-huh. So we go into the playroom and I walk in and as much as I want, I love our playroom. I really do. And it just keeps getting better and better. I walk in and I love it because it looks like a scene when you see the orgy scene in Game of Thrones. I don't know if you remember those when they went into the whorehouse and you walked in and oh, and, I do. And you're like, why can't our parties look like this? Yes, that's what it looked like. People everywhere. There's just people everywhere playing, and they're on every toy, and they're on the cross, and they're on the spanking bench, and they're just naked, and they're just everywhere, right? And we walk in shy as kittens kind of tiptoeing in well yeah because it's like yeah you don't know well i don't you don't want to interrupt anything and you can't see anything from the door when you walk in so we walk in and we just start looking and i'm just holding my hands (laughs) i'm still rock hard though right (laughs) so then i look over to my two o'clock i'm I'm holding you i'm holding on to you for dear life like you're my (laughs) life raft and i look over to you and there is a girl and two guys that i kind of know well one of i really know one i kind of know and she is on her knees giving a double blow job Job, right mm-hmm. to to two of the men mm-hmm. i think who am i not to make this a triple blow job <laughs> what kind of person am i not to offer up so in my <laughs> foggy brain foggy high haze i walk over and put my hard cock next to all of their cocks mm-hmm. and i say may i join <laughs> just pretty bold if you think about it so random of so you. fucking random so so gross yeah but I did it. Well, and the other thing I think in your defense would be that they they were definitely making content you could tell on a close up shot of doing the two. Oh, they were this, making a video. Yeah. So like when you went up, you were like, do you want three? And it's because we know that she does make some content and it wasn't as creepy as it may seem if it was just a regular but it also wasn't creepy because she had a camera in the playroom. It's like they were doing something very close. Yeah, up, you can so. look her up, La La Love, on Facebook. I don't know where she is. Any- she has her own website at lalalovetv.com. That's it. So you can go check out that hot, hot piece of ass. Hot piece of ass. So I jumped in there. Maybe, <laughs> maybe I'm part of the site. No, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. Yeah. I don't know. It's- I don't know. Maybe I've contributed. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe that. I'm the most popular view. <laughs> You don't know. Let's download it. You don't know. Maybe I'm up for an AVN award. Maybe it wasn't that bad. What was my bad? I'm anxious to know what my bad was. Listen, hold on, sister. (laughs) Yeah. All right. Because I'm not done my story yet. Oh, okay. I pull out of that. And then before you know it, everybody wants a piece of Richard's cock. (laughs) (laughs) It's just standing there. I'm just standing there. And before I know it, everyone, everywhere is swallowing Richard's cock. Who am I? as the host to turn them down. That's your, that's your job as a host just you, to go in there. And yes. I mean, yes, <laughs> I have to. Now I look for you 
You got lost in the crowd. I don't know where you went. I'm trying to clock you. You're sort of over by the, the was, cross. Yeah, it was by you the were cross. Starting, and we're going to get to you in a second. And then I go over with one, one person. And then we're doing a uh, blowjob on the bed. I think it might have been a contest. I don't know. <laughs> I was too high. I just know I was fucking mouth. And then this other lady that I love and adore says, hey, you want to see something cool? And I'm like, well, what? And she says, I can deep throat you. And I'm like, no, you can't. <laughs> And I don't care if I'm wrong. I just wanted to say, I dare you. And she gets on her back and she deeps throat it like nobody I've ever seen deep throat my cock. And that makes. And the, I saw that. I you, was there. You were. Yes. Yeah, I knew that. And then the girl next to her is like, let me try. I'm like, let everyone try. This is the best night ever. Yeah, it's the best night ever. So then I wind up, um, everybody is just uh, <laughs> sucking on Richard. Like he's the, I'm the most favorite lollipop in the place. Right. I'm having a blast, right? And then I wind up um, with this one couple who, I don't know if they were on their way out. She was sucking both of us. And then it ends with, he wanted to, he wanted to come. And then I may have, or may or may not have wound up with come on me and in my mouth. I'm not sorry. We'll be right back. Well, Lauren, it happened again. (laughs) What? Bikini Addiction announced their new color, their new fabric, their new pattern, and people went nutty. Neon Party Remix sent all the addicts into overdrive. Just a frenzy. Traffic jams and power grid failures. It was absolutely crazy the day they announced. Everybody just calmed down a little bit, but they (laughs) ordered more. There is enough out there to go around, but we need everybody to stay safe. Some really serious things happened during this, this crisis. I mean, in the profession, that that are I don't want to say run by by females but predominantly female right. like teachers there was a slowdown in teaching yeah there was teachers who just left the classroom four out of five children left these are elementary school kids left school and turned to the streets <laughs> forever. That's something that you can't turn around. You can't. 90% of nursing is females. Right. I don't want to tell you how many people die. I, I, I let's not look. talk about it. Prenatal? Let's not even go there. Super dark. <laughs> Super dark. And that's why we have to really, really be careful. This is why I always say women should not be teachers. It should be because they're always thinking about bikini addiction bikinis. Okay. We need to control the addiction. This is why I also say women should not be nurses. They're always thinking about bikini addiction bikinis. It's just dangerous. Not good for the masses. And I don't think it's bikini addiction's fault. No. Some good news, though. Yes. Violent crimes against prostitutes went down. Why? Because these hoes weren't out on the street. They were too busy shopping for bikini addiction bikinis. Silver lining. So good. It Thanks is good. for that it news. It is good. Thank you for that, bikini addiction. <laughs> Nobody talks about that in the news, do they? No, I didn't hear it. So what have we learned? Bikini addiction does have some left. Yes. But be responsible. Control the addiction and be responsible. That is our PSA. Also go to bikiniaddiction.com and use promo code ROOM77 to save 10% on the new stock color Neon Party Remix. Be careful out there. <laughs> I, very, mean, I made out with people. There was a unicorn there, very beautiful unicorn there that was touching me. I take that memory with me to bed with me every night, like, it, like, a, like a teddy bear. It was actually, I think, if you were going to say, oh, we went into the playroom one night, like it could not have been more orchestrated as the perfect time because we don't get to go in the playroom that often, you know, and it's usually empty or we're unplugging shit or whatever. And this was like, if you were, it just, it was the perfect memory. There was so much happening. Everyone was enjoying themselves. It was full of sexual energy. There was so much to look at and listen to and the lights and the everything. It was just, it was awesome. Before I get to your horrible mistake, (laughs) um, what were you doing while you were gone? Because at some points I just lost track of you. I thought maybe she went to bed. I I did a couple things. I was watching the uh the Lala with you and the three cocks. And then I moved on to the unicorn and made out with her some. And she was distributing a clitoral cream. Oh, yeah, yeah. I do. I do remember that. She put some of that on my penis. Yeah. So I, I thought that was a clip. I got that. And um, then I me- meandered over to and I'm the whole time like I'm watching you because I like to see you 
in sexual situations is a big turn on for me. So I am gladly taking myself back so that the fawning is something that I can take in visually. Mm -hmm. And so, and then I meander over to the cross and I join in with some energy on that. Then I'm watching the deep throat thing. I mean, I was just sort of all in that, just bouncing around in different. You were being a good host as well. I thought. Not as interactive as me. (laughs) I mean, I it, didn't just bend over on this banking bench. With, well, that would yeah, you would have been a good host. <laughs> just anyone enter me. You know, yeah, I mean, that happen. would have been hot. You know, I still want to do something like that. Honey, where are you? I'm over here getting fucked by, yeah. t- by two guys. Yeah, but it has to be like, there has to be like a gatekeeper. But I would like to just have maybe like. I don't know, a half hour where Lauren's just on the spanking bench. And- Can you take a half hour? There's a whole nother subject. I have to yeah, get maybe- to, I have to okay, get to the we'll end get to that later. So then we meander over to uh, two of the people that I, I was with. Um, we're still sort of talking to them. So we're talking about his height because his cock is almost at, it's just at eye height. <laughs> but anyway, he asks you, he says, will you suck my cock? And you say, no, I will not. <laughs> and your reasoning was because he had just gone through many, many people sucking his cock in that room. Yeah. And I call you a hypocrite, man, (laughs) because that's what your husband just finished doing. What say you, Lauren? I just finished doing what you just speak of. Because I've never been with this person before and I wanted to be with them in a different sense. And I, if it was... Um, because he was already like doing stuff and it was just like, I, th- I believe his wording was, can I stick my cock in your mouth? And it was just like, no, cause I don't want to, so I, I don't want to be one of many. I want to have an experience. You, you wanted to feel special at that point. Yeah, so there was this it, very, really, really interesting difference that I saw in. Uh, you never see me speak my boundaries like that. No, I see it all the time. I think it's very sexy and it's, it's very, it's very important. And I know when you're there, I know when that line is <laughs> unmovable. Mm. What I saw was I want to be a little bit special. I want to be with you, but I don't want it under the circumstance that you just presented it in. Exactly. That was exactly what was going through in my mind. I want to feel a little bit more special than you just made me feel. So that is a good note, right. I think, for him or many other men is he's carrying this energy that he has that's going on in a room and he's putting that energy on you. Like I'm doing this with everybody else, but everybody is an individual, right? Right. So you can't approach everything with, can I put my cock in your mouth? <laughs> Because I just did it with everybody else. Right. You know, everybody likes to feel special unless they're giving you that energy of, hey, let me put my cock, your cock in my mouth. Right. That's how I want to play this game. Yeah. I, and it, it could have been a completely different situation on another night. And I could have been like in a different headspace. Right. You know, like sometimes I want to feel like one of many and just used and abused. And that's different. That's a different headspace. But at that particular time, <laughs> It was really funny because I'm looking at him and he's standing there and his pants are pulled up, but his cock is literally just pulled out of his zipper. Like he's in an adult cinema. Yes. <laughs> I'm like, and he's just like standing there like we're all in clothes and I'm like, no, like this is so random. It's like, do you want to go f- suck me off in the stall? That's about how intimate it sounded at the moment i was just like no i'm good yeah i think he was just riding that energy i know he was he was and it made sense because he said he's like i just want to stick my cock in everything and that that makes sense like i understand that but yeah yeah i just wasn't there mentally well that's good that's good to know but why is that such a bad why was that a faux pas well, was I it, felt, the way I it wasn't it? a faux pas it was just like i just felt like i i just did it I just oh, did it. you were saying, okay, I see how that was. Yeah, but now you understand, right? Yeah, I get it. Okay. I think, mm-hmm. however, maybe further explanation <laughs> to him would have been appreciated. Yeah, probably. <laughs> That's what happens when I like Because what it sounded like from nope. the outsider was, <laughs> uh, no, thank you. <laughs> and you're always <laughs> like, uh, why did she say it like that? Uh, I'll pass. <laughs> 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 But I, knowing, I, I know what was going through your head. Yeah, of course you do. You I always know, know what's going through. But uh, from someone who doesn't, uh, he's just riding this energy, right? Yeah. And uh, I'm like, mm, 
Well, I understand where you're coming from, <laughs> but what he just experienced, what I just experienced with her husband is he's on a different boat right now. Yeah, I know. Right? And his <laughs> wife was just doing it to her husband. Woo! And it's just like, fair is fair. Yeah. So I think in that situation, you have to be like, hey, listen, I would love to maybe at another time, but I would rather not feel like I'm just not another face right now. Yeah. That you're sticking it into. I think I was too tired to explain myself. And that made it even worse because when I get tired, I get really short spoken. Like I just say, Rah. And <laughs> well, I could barely say my name. I'm going to reach out to them. You are? Yeah. Okay. I like them and they did. They They're booked, coming to the they next one. Sin. Yeah. So I, I don't like anyone when especially it's they something that they hate No, they don't. I just talked to her yesterday. No, they hate you. They told me, they reached out and they said, does she, <laughs> does she know that we hate her? And I said, how do we come to the party without seeing Lauren? I said, I'll make it happen. <laughs> I'll put Lauren in the secondary. Hotel. Yeah, she'll go in the secondary hotel, <laughs> and you guys can stay with me. How do you feel about hosting? How's that? Yeah, great. And next, we talk about the 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 state that I was in, that we we're both in, which was because we were on an illegal substance. And that is the last part. That is the ugly. That is the next story. That is the the ugly that happened on the last night. Mm -hmm. But no, I think it's important for people to hear, to know, as honest as I can be. Yeah. But I like to tell people what it's like, what it was like for us, and what the downsides are, what the good sides are, what to watch out for. I want to give the ugly sides. So when it does come to these party drugs, God knows, Lauren has done them all. Oh my God. Next in the ugly. Don't ever feel like you're all alone when it's bad. All right, Lauren. Yes. Get off your phone. <laughs> Honestly, we shut it off for two seconds and you're in that phone like a teenager. I know. I'm trying to post With it. no panties on, winking your vagina at me. I know. I can't record like this. You're just Sorry. staring. Just pull your dress down just a little bit. Just because just like it's like it's like sexual. Yeah. yeah. There. Now I can concentrate at your vagina staring at me <laughs> in a judgy way. There. All right. We are about to start the ugly portion of Good, the Bad, and the Ugly. I think it's good. And no, ugly. it's the ugly. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. But it is good for people. Sure. But it can be bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but in this section, it's the ugly. Was that your phone? Did it just make a sound? That was Machacho. What did he do? Yawn. Oh, he hates this story. <laughs> he does. So um, this is about party drugs. This is, and this isn't a P PSA. We're not saying that you should or should not do drugs. We're right. saying that the choice is yours to do whatever you want. You're an adult. Make your own decision. What we are saying is do everything responsibly. And be safe. That's the most important thing. We trust that you can make smart decisions. If you can't, <laughs> do drugs. you're right. You're done. You if you can't make <laughs> decisions in life, then don't do drugs. Yeah, they're not it's, for you. It's not your time right now. <laughs> If you had told me years ago that we would dabble in party drugs, mm -hmm. I would have said you're crazy. No. Hell yeah. No. Well, you're going to snort stuff up your nose. You're, you're going like, to be one of those people that I've been sort around of hides. it so long. Been around it so long. Even, I would even tell you that back then, I even looked across the room kind of side eyed, judgy. Yeah. Right? Here we are evolving <laughs> into, into that person. One of the things that don't go really well together, and everybody knows this is drinking, heavy drinking, yep. and the lifestyle do not go well together. <laughs> they just don't fit. No. They never have. And as far as you and I, we've never been heavy drinkers. Yeah, not good at it. Teenagers could drink us under a table. <laughs> is your e email going off? No, that's Muchacho again. Oh, it's time for his, his walk. Oh, uh, okay. Mm. Mm. Should I save this? No, let's just keep going. It's only oh. going to be like 10 more minutes. Yeah, but then he's going to start barking and shit. No, I may not. Mm. Mm. I can hear him. I can hear him panting. Right now he's just walking around the hotel rubbing his head. He's walking in circles. And now he's barking. <laughs> Are you fussy? Do you need a little break? Ooh. Oh. All right. Maybe we should take a break for okay. Machacho and then come back and talk about your heavy addiction. <laughs> and I'm still an advocate. Uh, well, we're back. Machacho is done. Yes. 
I just wanted to update everybody. Yes, and I have on shorts now because I had to go outside. So no more no. vagina. No more vagina. Machacho is actually outside because he, he rolled in something <laughs> gross. Uh, it's just mayhem. <laughs> Back to drugs. I'm still very, very adamant on handle your drugs, handle your alcohol. Like I still can't deal with anybody, whether it's drugs or alcohol. If you are over inebriated, if you are over drugged, if you are out of it, I can't deal with you. I can't talk to you. I don't want to be around you. Exactly. So I don't want to be a hypocrite and, and say like, oh, well, drinking's bad, but drugs are okay. Yeah, no, do whatever you want to do. Yeah. Just as long. Be sober. I don't care. Everybody knows, or at least our listener knows that I am the party. (laughs) <laughs> you know what I mean? I am. You are the every man. That's I am. Done I the am every party drug. I am the fun in games. Without me, there is no fun. Without me, there is no games. I am the wheel in the wheel of fortune. I am the party in Jet Party. <laughs> <laughs> I love your stupid jokes. It's true. No, it's not true. But then I, that makes me the fortune. Jim. Fortune. You are the fortune. The you wheel. are the fortune. So tonight, boys and girls, we're going to talk about. K, ketamine. Ketamine is a very popular drug. Love it or hate it. If you're a person that does drugs, it doesn't do drugs. You have to deal with lifestyle people being doing drugs. Now, yeah. let me tell you, Richard, how Richard fell into his little K-hole. <laughs> Let's go on the journey. I've never had anyone in my K-hole. <laughs> Usually I like people in any of my holes, but this, this hole wasn't particularly fun. <laughs> So, um, I, we had done a little bit and then, um, I had to go back down to the room and uh, while I was down there, I was like, well, I'll just take a little bit more, which you shouldn't do. You shouldn't just be like, Oh, just I'm down here. Yeah. Just, like it's easy. It's a convenience thing. No, you can walk downstairs at any time. You need to take it at intervals. You need to space <laughs> it out. It's not a, it's not a piece of gum. It's just, <laughs> it's how I feel like. Yeah. It's not a Sip breath of mint. water. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, I'll just do a little bit more. A little more lipstick on. Yeah. yeah okay, here we go. So then I, I go upstairs and uh, I start talking to my friend and my friend's pointing to things on a phone and my brain is going, what? <laughs> <laughs> and I, I can't see anything on his phone. Your brain just starts going squirrel, 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 squirrel. Yeah, that's the thing is it, it does, it hits you really fast though. Yeah. Okay. It's like five minutes. Now I think that I'm going to go through this Mm -hmm. and then come back out the other side and be like, all right, it's just like a little, it just hit me. And then okay. So I'm like, let me get out of this conversation that is clearly (laughs) one-sided. I'm not participating. He can have this on his own. (laughs) Doesn't need me here. Doesn't need me here. (laughs) So I walk into the dance floor area and I was like, I will just stand here by myself and I will watch people dance until I get through this wormhole. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Really enjoying the lights at this point. Yeah, so good. I'm watching people dance and then someone starts talking to me and then I start having a conversation where I I can hear myself talking way too much, but I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. Like, I have no (laughs) idea what I'm saying, but I know the words are coming out, but they're not strung together in any way, shape or form. (laughs) That's making really a lot of sense. Right. But you're still making words at this point. Yeah. And I'm yeah. trying to end, I'm trying to end the sentence in a, like a, so that, 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 yeah. like that's it. Yeah. So let's end this conversation. <laughs> but none of it's making any sense. <laughs> and they're not getting what you're throwing down. Yeah. So oh God, so I, I, someone dragged me from behind. I wind up in another conversation. Right. And I'm spinning, I'm like going down a drain here. Right. It's just getting worse oh. and worse and worse. And they start talking to me and I'm following the conversation and this, I'm down to just nodding. Right. I'm just <laughs> nodding at this point. <laughs> then my, my vision goes, I start seeing things. Oh, God. I can't focus. Like, I feel like everything is flickering. It's flickering like someone put an Adobe filter on me. It's just a cool filter, like a flicker filter. Mm -hmm. And I can't stop it. I cannot stop this flicker effect. I'm checking one eye, I'm checking the other eye. It's not stopping. (laughs) And I think, don't panic, just leave. But my feet go, you can't leave because you're weightless and in space. (laughs) You stopped moving minutes ago. So I try to take one small step to my left or my right. And I wind up taking one giant moon boot step to my right. And I'm standing there in the middle of the floor. And all I think is, oh, no. If I stood there, I think for another few seconds, I would have just spiraled down and just sat 
on the floor. Do you think you would have fallen, like lost your balance and fallen over? No, or do you think I was, you would have just sat down? I would have baby stepped over to the wall. That was going to be my plan. <laughs> like roller skates. But, Sorry, but, like go to the wall so you can hold on. <laughs> there's a point when you're falling that hard that you want to just hold on to something right? Because yeah. you feel like you're falling or you're going to fall. Right. You're not, but there's no reason to. It's just a, it's just a very odd feeling, but you know, you're spinning downward. It wasn't getting any better. So right. I was like, all right, <laughs> next step is to head towards the wall. Like there's a tornado coming, <laughs> a door frame, anything. <laughs> I stand there, but first, my first thought is find someone to help you, but somebody that you know, right? not a stranger. Yeah. You can't like, have strange Hi. conversations. Richard, it's really nice to meet you. Thank you for the party. Can't deal with that shit right no, now. No, that is not happening. Hope you had a great week. Right, because I'm just going to be like, pa funny. <laughs> funny, funny, pa. Bill. Ooh, ooh, pa. <laughs> that would be my response. And I can't have that happening. <laughs> what the fuck happened to Richard? Richard's talking. having a moment. <laughs> He's talking in baby talk. No, I'm just regretting at my entire life at this point. And who comes around the corner? My angelic wife, Lauren. Oh, oh, and I grab gone. you by both, by both my hands and I'm like, I did too much. I need help right now. And you're like, okay, let's go sit down. So you take me, you baby walk me over. I sit down on the bed. I want to speak to everyone, but I can't. <laughs> I can't. I can say I have sentences in my head, but yeah, I'm they trying only, to keep you away from people. You can't talk. Yeah. And I'm saying to people, I want to, my eyes can't focus. Yeah. And even the people were like, don't focus. <laughs> They're just trying to talk me down. Like I'm a guy who did too many drugs, <laughs> which I am, it, you know, quite frankly, it ruined my night, but I'm lucky that I had people there to help me who knew what was going on. So it's like, I, I, I would I'd be really scared if I had never done it before, or i knew I didn't hear the story. Yes. I didn't do the research or anything like that. So and you didn't have a buddy with you. So didn't have a buddy with me, yeah, yeah. You were walking around by yourself. So that was like, don't do what Richard does. This yeah, is it's another just, lesson. It was just ugly. It really was ugly and it ruined my night. Yeah. And I became a person that I don't like, which is be able to handle your drugs. And then I shot my pants. And then I was mad at you. And I was like, you're fucking up my night. I'm going out. And I ran around the hotel. No, that's not true. However, we were in the room and we were standing on the balcony and I was like, oh my God, there's a dog in the pool. That is a true story. And I thought for a second, maybe I'm seeing shit, but I heard splashy splash and I ran down and I ran to the pool to save this dog. And in fact, there was a dog. But they were playing. They were just playing. What you didn't know, or you ran out to try to save the dog. Yeah. I ran after you. No, you didn't. Yeah. Didn't you see me downstairs? Oh, show yeah, up? you did come down. Yeah. I ran as fast as I could. I showed up five minutes later. <laughs> <laughs> you like out of breath. <laughs> no, I just couldn't go. I would have fallen or died. Yeah, you weren't out of breath, but that was, I thought you just like came to check on me. Like you, I was, I was coming to check on you and the situation. Like after the fact, like not, you, you darted out of the, the room, time. like emergency <laughs> on my way. But like an 89 year old man. I thought maybe like you went to the bathroom, brushed your teeth and nope. then decided to go. No, that was me sprinting there. <laughs> That's so great. Yeah. And then when we were down there, everybody started talking to me. I'm like, oh, this is no. not what I wanted. I do not want to start this again. No, Richard needs to go back into his hole. Listen, be careful out there. It is around you. If you're in the lifestyle, it, it's it's around you. I promise you. Even if you think you're like, no, everyone not, was drinking at my party. No, they weren't. Yeah, they weren't. Yeah, no. I mean, I know you think maybe that it's not around you. I promise you. I promise you it is. Yeah. Again, it's your life. You're a big boy. You're a big girl. You do what you want responsibly. You know, you got to be careful with everything you do in life. You can ruin your life with anything. Yeah. All right. Don't be preachy, Lauren. Lula, they don't like I'm it. I'm going to go do all my drugs and excess right now. All right. I'm going to go airtight with my drugs. <laughs> okay. Put them in all my holes. Give me my reason to stay high. Let my body decide. Because you're my desire. As ugly as I. Oh, right. <laughs> Lauren, I am so high right now. <laughs> I can see your vagina again. I know. I was thinking about that. I'm trying to hide it with my legs. Coming no panties every day. Spr spring has sprung, Richard. 
don't know if that means with panties, but... You did suitcase all of your drugs, didn't you? I did. <laughs> so, so, I know we have to wrap it up here, but literally so much has changed since we started the recording of this uh, podcast. Number one, we're no longer going to Florida. We're in now April. going to Florida in, in May. May. We're not moving anymore, <laughs> but we all, we are, but we just, now we can't move. We have to find a new place to live. <laughs> um, so many things have happened. Uh, muchacho is clean under so much stress. When I'm under stress, my penis shrinks and I, I hate that feeling of my penis shrinking. And I think it's a horrible trick that nature did on it's God, whoever you may believe in, whoever, <laughs> your, whoever your creator is. Right. I don't know who that is. I don't know. I don't know who your creator your is. Your Allah. Whatever. Yeah. Ra. I don't know who's Santa. listening on this planet, <laughs> you know, and so many countries all across the world. And they are not VPNs. <laughs> you know, I did meet some a couple from India, which is really cool on Instagram. My penis still hurts a little bit. Um, I check it at night sometimes when I'm hard. Mm. I wake up. Wait, I, you're hard at night. You said your penis is. Do you not know anything about men? What? You, I think so. uh, hey, listener, did you hear that silence in there? <laughs> <laughs> she literally just learned something about men. That men in the middle of the night sometimes wake up hard. You didn't know this? Yeah, I did. But I thought if your penis was shriveling because of stress, it would override it even while sleeping. True. But sometimes in your sleep, it it's up. just unconscious. I should check you while and I get up in the middle Some of the night. Some wives do that to lucky husbands. I, ha however, wound up with a wife that doesn't know that that's a thing where they just wake up with a wife's lips wrapped around. I'm going to do that. Yeah. I'm going to keep checking. The way that you sleep, I highly doubt this is ever going <laughs> to I highly doubt this is ever going to happen because, I mean, most of the time I have to check for a pulse. With you, I'm literally like, I, sh I sh may have to call 911. <laughs> I mean, I'm not even well, last sure. Last night I got up, I had to do a little nose spray, a little allergy med. It's from all those drugs, learned. Right. And I could have checked. And that would have been great because I have been really horny lately. I've been doing a lot of OnlyFans, a lot of sexting. A lot of OnlyFans. And I yeah. am not happy about your shriveled penis. I need to get it back in the game. I know. Well, you can blame the world. Blame, blame rentals. Tell them about your, your sexy OnlyFans that we've been on top of and all the people that you've been sexting with. It's uh, OnlyFans.com. Room 77 is us. And no, I mean, tell them about what you've been nasty doing. You talk oh, to, you do nasty things. You're sexting I do all nasty day long. Things. I'm like, I pull people off of there to put them on Snapchat where I got maybe a video call later. I don't even know how much that caught. I just like, yeah, just, just whatever. I'm not a pro at it, but I have a really fun time doing yeah, it. You're just diddling yourself all yeah, day. It's so That's fun. Like the, I got some new dildos. I'm like, I mean, it's so fun. Best job in the world. If you would ask anybody in school, what do you want to do when you grow up? I want to make money masturbating. Yeah, and I no think one that gave me that option. <laughs> no. They just said fireman, doctor. Uh, no one said, do, would you like to m masturbate and fuck for money? Yeah, I don't think in our age it was really an option. God bless the internet. Yeah, so good. Or again, whoever you pray to <laughs> or whoever your creator is. <laughs> Wherever you're listening from, shout out to Rwanda. <laughs> Tell them about Sin and why they should be there and how they can get there cheaper. Come join us in October 8th through the 13th. It's on Isla Mujeres, which is Cancun, Mexico. Fly into Cancun. Come over to the island of Isla Mujeres. It's like a different world over there. The best thing about Sin, I think, is that it's curated by you. Because you tell somebody, you went, you told somebody, you heard, you know somebody who went, and then you decide to go. And that's what's so amazing is the friendships that you're making are, it's just the group of people. And that's what everyone wants is a good group of people. I'm not going to say you don't put it on a great party, Richard, because you do You've got special things going on. Thanks. Honestly, the group of people is what makes it. And I'm so excited to go back in October. If you want to save money, you can come join our Patreon and pledge annually and you can save a hundred or $150 off of your ticket. Hurry up because the rooms are going to be gone pretty soon. Make sure to get over there. We promise you it's a really good time and we guarantee best swinger party of the year anywhere in the world. We guarantee that and it's backed by... Yeah, AIG, I think, backs it, actually. It, they do. Again, if you're in Florida, Southern Florida, and you want to fuck on camera... Yeah. Please reach out. We'll be there in a few days. That's not true, <laughs> but I know whoever you are, you're not punctual. 
We'll be there in a month. <laughs> If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to go leave a positive review. Or for more information, go to room77life.com. Thanks for stopping by Room 77. We had a blast. Now get your clothes and get out. Bye.